This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Open the driver's door and pull the bonnet release handle. Lift the safety catch and open the bonnet. The coolant expansion tank is located on the right-hand side of the engine compartment. Slowly unscrew the filler cap and allow any residual pressure to escape. Position the jack head under the reinforced bracket midway along the door sill. Then raise the vehicle until the wheel is clear of the ground. Support the vehicle with an axle stand under the front subframe rear mounting point. The engine undershield is secured by various screws around its circumference. Undo the screws and lower the undershield from place. Undo the screw at each end of the radiator under tray, then using a long screwdriver to depress the clip each side, pull the under tray to the rear and remove it. Place a suitable container beneath the left hand end of the radiator. Attach a length of hose to the outlet, then slacken the drain tap and allow the coolant to drain into the container. When the radiator has drained, move the tray to the rear right hand side of the engine and unscrew the cylinder block drain tap. Attach a hose to the tap and drain the coolant into the container. When the coolant has finished draining, close the cylinder block tap and remove the hose. Close the radiator drain tap and remove the hose. Remove the container from beneath the vehicle. Maneuver the under tray into position and secure it with the screws. Maneuver the undershield into position, then refit the retaining screws and tighten them securely. Remove the axle stand and lower the vehicle to the ground. Slowly fill the system through the expansion tank with a 50-50 mixture of antifreeze and water. Slow pouring reduces the possibility of air being trapped and forming air locks. It helps also if the large radiator hoses are gently squeezed whilst filling. Bring the level up to the maximum mark on the side of the tank, then securely refit the filler cap. Start the engine and run it at idle speed until it has warmed up to normal operating temperature. If the level in the expansion tank drops significantly, top up to the max level line to minimise the amount of air circulating in the system. Stop the engine Allow it to cool down completely, then top up the tank to the max level line. Firmly close the bonnet and check it secure.